Welcome folks to my little test video on how to create a custom multiplayer character in the 5M trainer. This is Bob. Say hi to Bob. Hi Bob. Yeah, okay, that's enough of Bob. Um, what we do first is you open up F1. You will go to player, player skin, down to players. There you'll, no, we don't want Michael, double click. We'll go down to MP male. Oh god, that's appropriate. Or MP female, which is the same thing and the same head. Don't ask me why. You have made Five Reborn has a weird sense of humour. Right, we back out of the F1 menu. In fact, no, before we do, let's make it daytime because this is a little bit dark. So let's go clear, let's go mid morning. And here you can regard uh, what I'm going to call Boris's features, or Borisina's features, well, um, damn. We go to F5, we go to Model Spawning, we scroll to Clothes Menu. I'll go through these options in a moment, but first thing we need to do, MP Model Customization. This option, we go in here. Now these two, Head Shape 1 and 2, Father and Mother, from the Multiplayer Character Creation Menu. So what you'll do is you'll basically go through these. You've got then got father and mother percentage, so different percentage of each one. Let's change it up, shall we? Oh, good, good God! This is not helping things. Vaguely acceptable. Look at the mother. Some things it turns out do less than others. Look at the percentages. Let's give it some more percentage of mother. Because, damn, this bitch needs a facelift. Once you've got a percentage in mother or father, you'll notice now I've got 75% mother, 0% father. Let's go 25% father, shall we? Just to match it up. Um, I can now select skin colour. The menu is irritating, but there you go. So you can go through various available skin tones. Obviously, depending on the parental unit. If you've chosen African American, you obviously get African American skin tones, Hispanic, Asian, etc. For this one, oh god, no sunlight has ever been seen. Let's go with. this. So, first things first, we don't, well, we can touch beard in this menu. Obviously, beards. Worst part is, yes, that's a lady with a beard. Conchita Worst, eat your heart out. Colour, obviously, press 5 to change. And that looks kind of wrong, so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, weirdest worst method I've found for doing things close up with the face is walk towards a wall, like so, and zoom the camera in. Because apparently there's no other feature for this. So let's go eyebrows, shall we? And yes, they are bright green. These will actually do for now. Wow, that was quick. Uh, makeup, that's eye makeup. Uh, I'm not going to put any on yet. Let's go down to hair first. Let's give her some hair. Just to make things here vaguely normal you've got the normal multiplayer choices here just to keep the hair off her face I like to use a non um, should we say fringed or hair dangling hairstyle just to go kind of test things out um, I will use this one okay so once we've got that decided we'll go down to facial features here you've got things like nose width so if I just bring the character in a little bit closer, which makes, again, our job easier. Now, once you select, you select options with 4 and 6, so I'll go back and forth. See, nose width with yada. Now, 5 changes the value. Starts on minus 10, goes to plus 10. So, nose width, that's minus 9. And that's all the way to plus 10. Okay, so we got back to minus 10. Narrow nose. Uh, neck width, again, goes all the way up 
and down again. So, all the way up. And down again. You're starting to see a pattern here, yes? I'm going to quickly customise this character for you. And we're just going to see what we've got. Um... What up? And then we're going to ignore Devin because apparently even in server 2 you got to do this. And we're going to customize really quickly. Not big deal. Of course these menu options are all very individual, depends what you want to do and we will end up with a character which basically allows us to do what we want same as a multiplayer, just a little bit more difficult really to handle um, you know what, I think she will do in that regard for now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to things like makeup okay, now the colours are a little on the odd side at first, oh no these are stock colours by standard so unless you mess with it, they are the standard colours. Which seems new, because they weren't the other day. Go figure. Um, that'll do. Okay, so we'll go to blush. Of course, it's bright. Frickin' green, for some reason, because someone at Rockstar thought that was a great colour to start with. Um, you can then change the colour. Now, I recommend if you have a controller, use X on that rather than numpad 1 for some options because, obviously, numpad 1 is ragdoll. So, what we're going to... And apparently, that's jump. So, X on the controller is jump. Let's step her away from anything that could be considered a problem. And just adjust this. Okay, so we have a reasonable amount of blush on her face. It's, again, not necessary, but if you just want to learn around and screw with options, we can. That'll do, again. Right, biggest one here to deal with is uh, clothing. Now, don't touch these, by the way. Detect multiplayer model and load detected model. Um, doesn't kind of work. So, yeah. We'll go back to the main options now. We'll just get the camera a little bit further away for this. But again, it's almost too far, so you'll have time to mess around with this yourself. Find a viewing angle you like. We'll start from the top. Don't touch head, don't touch beard. You can touch hair. Hair allows you to change colour a bit more within groups. So once you'll select your hair colour in here, multiplayer model customization. Say I want to go for I'm going to go for a nice, bright purple. No reason, just other than I like purple. Now pressing 5 on the number pad, back in the main clothing menu, we'll change the subtle tones of it, or should. It does another hair colours, let's disregard that for now. Right, let's look at the rest of the character. So. First thing you're always going to change, shirt overlay. Decide what top layer outfit item you want. Now this is top halves of single piece clothing items, jackets, t-shirts, everything. So what you're going to have to do is decide do you want to layer or not. So obviously I've got a t-shirt underneath this, you can see there, it's clipping through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick, I would like to have an open jacket for this context. So. I will grab one. You have to cycle through pressing 4 and 6 as mentioned. And you will reach a point where you have the jacket you desire. Whereas I could have stopped at the first one available. And that would be too simple. But I am going for a specifically non-terrible looking one. And anyway, just reasons my vanity. This will do. Perfect example. We'll go to accessory. Zip one, let's call it. It's just accessory. This is the undershirt. So it selects what you're wearing underneath your outer coat. It adds the epaulets to the race suits. And of course, if you're on the race suit epaulets, five changes the colour to match the rest of the suit. 
Of course, whenever you're on a clothing item, pressing 5 will adjust the colour. So, in this case, let's put a... This is a perfect example crop top because I want to adjust the skin underneath the body. Pressing 5, like I'm doing now, will change the colour. Okay, so we've got a bit of body missing here. How do we deal with that? We'll go to upper next. Upper will let you select through hands and arms, but not only that, how much of the torso model is visible. So you see, I've just cycled through with four there, and that's given me the torso. But I've got skin sticking through, so I might do that and check. Nothing poking out. Perfect. Right amount of skin visible. Let's change the trousers. I'm going to give her very quickly. Of course, you've got all the clothing options you have in multiplayer. Including building pilot uniforms in here. Bottom halves of other outfits. Five changes of colours. Then you have hands. Now hands is certain parachutes that are actually functional. So we're going to cycle off this because that is not what we came here for. And I have lost myself in the option numbers and yeah, we're good. We'll go down to shoes. Yada yada, shoes, they do exactly what they say on the tin. Mess around with at your own desire. Five changes of colours. Teeth. Teeth changes neck items, so resting headphones as you saw. Big gangster chains, ties, scarves, that sort of thing again, all colour options. And we go down, once we pick something we want to use. I don't want a horrendous gangster chain, so let's cycle through this very quickly and see if I can find any other possible option. Yes, that's the pilot air hose for the mask. Let's go with the scarf. We've seen accessory one. Now accessory two. Body armour. Everyone likes body armour. Different sizes of armour will go over different items of clothing, so cycle through to find the one you want. Of course, there is also these little puppies. Yes. Full plate carriers. Accessory one, by the way, if you're wearing a normal item of clothing in the shirt over there that isn't an open jacket, for example. I will just do that now. So let's find something that's nothing on this. Surprisingly enough, those are not nothing. I know where I'm going to go for this. Once we reach nothing, which is here, we go to shirt overlay. Let's put on a t-shirt. Oh, look! There's a cop uniform. I wonder how we got here. Let's get rid of the junk. And we go to upper to get the right upper torso without too much poking through. Let's actually put some gloves on because why not? You know? Tactical gloves. We got him. Yeah. Okay. Those will do. Um, we'll go to lower and we'll create a Pringles special police lady. No. Not special enough for Pringles. Doesn't match. This will do. It's not a police issue, I'm sure, but uh, who's counting, huh? Now we go to accessory one and go six to go left, right even. Oh look, police duty belt. Very useful with microphone, also good for security guard looks. Press it again, you've got a kind of, the, well, the, obviously from the garbage truck guy missions. You've got a high-vis jacket, great for truck drivers. And you've got the clothing, so we'll stick with that. Now, uh, badges is the decals over the top of race suits and things, and badges on t-shirts, like these. Badges on race suits, etc., etc. We can mess around with that at desire. Hat, of course, as standard, we'll deal with hats. Police hat is in there, but you know what? I am feeling the pilot headphones. Now, 
It's pretty sunny. Let's put some glasses on. You'll choose a pair you like. In this case for me, that will be... Let's go for some... Like this. Now pressing 5 will change style of glasses, frame, and also the lens options if there are any. Let's not go full patriotic. Some options will be striped like that, means there's no texture being called. Some just don't exist, so you'll pick what you want. Um, I'm just going to quit out of 5 menu and go back to the world and change the time again, because it was getting dark, and that's no use for a tutorial. Clothing menu, misc. Now, misc is apparently nothing at the moment that I can tell of. Some things do things with certain pads, some things do not. So that's just how it is. Watches, of course, do watches. Helmets doesn't work. Tattoos does work. You've got no menu to choose what it is, so you have to basically cycle through and guess. Obviously it says number pad 5 to set the tattoo, D or controller X to delete. Notice when I press D, the carriage turns, which is useless when you're putting a tattoo on. Use number pad X or controller X to delete. It means you can delete it without the character moving. You can see what you're placing, that way you can cycle through placing and deleting until you find the tattoos you want. <laughs> Ignore the soundboard. Why that's play playing, I don't know. I'm not re recording this. Of course, clothing, load, and save menu. You will go to a slot. You choose here. I have a lot saved, so I will press slot 20. Oh, no, it should say load uh, saved. It's 20 at the bottom. Now, I'll load a different one just to show you differences. All these preloads are mine, which are saved for various options. This is what you can do with the characters. And you can make new styles of people, different outfits, same person, different hairstyles. You can have fun with it. See, this is, of course, Maria Lopez. Fully tattooed up and looking angry. Random ped, Maria Lopez. Maria Lopez looking smart, kind of different smart looks, skydiving or Lara Croft, mercenary, mountain biker. So you've got options now if I want to reload the one we just made, load slot 20, bingo, there it is. That simple folks, so load and save through F5, if I was to basically join into this game and want to load straight in, I would go to F1, the first time I enter the game, I will go to player, I'll go to player skin, players MP female, exit out of the enhanced reborn 5M menu, go to F5, go to model spawning, clothes menu, clothes load and save, and straight to slot 20, bingo. We're done. And that, folks, is how to fully customise your multiplayer pedestrian model. I'm going to climb on top of a juice stand, because this is a really big orange. Alright, bye.